Good morning from Hahe Beach. Today we're off to explore one of the most popular destinations on the Coromandel Peninsula, Cathedral Cove. This is usually where you'd find the intro, but there isn't an intro and here's why. One of the challenges about van life is that you have to adapt really quickly. For example, if you make vlogs every week and then your laptop dies. <laughs> this has about 12 vlogs worth of content in there, which we've spent the last two months filming. Since the laptop is dead, I'll be shooting and editing vlogs the old school way on my phone. We'll still be releasing vlogs every Monday as promised and I'll let you know as soon as we get back to, you know, that town we were supposed to visit right after Thai Happy. Without further ado, here's our adventure from this week. You can't just drive to the Cathedral Cove, you have to walk, you have to earn those views. Let's talk about parking. So in winter you can drive right up to the Cathedral Cove car park and just park there. There is an hourly fee. In summer you can park down at the Cathedral Cove Village car park and catch the park and ride shuttle which is five dollars per person return. Or you can park at Hahe Beach which is free but you do have an extra 25 minutes to walk. The walk along the cliff however is beautiful. Speaking of walks let's get back to it. is here as you'd expect on the first day of summer <laughs> hey guys do you mind if we get past Boop. bye guys Now that we're here, check out these views. is being shot entirely on an iPhone, we thought we'd shoot the pictures on an iPhone as well. This is what they look like. Well, that was good timing. Just had a whole school group join us. I guess that concludes our time on the beach. <laughs> The cove was a great place for refuge from the rain. And we had it to ourselves for about 20 minutes, which never happens in the middle of summer. All in all, a great day. Take the winds.
Bay Bay. It's about 20 minutes away from Cathedral Cove. It's gorgeous and there's no one here. So you can look at all the beautiful marine life, but you can't touch them or take them home. Hey little guy. Stingray Bay, yay or nay? Yay. Well worth the visit. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It means a whole heap to us every time you do watch one of the vlogs. Let me know what you thought of the vlog being shot and edited on the phone. It's not my usual style, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Stay tuned as we continue this road trip up the Coromandel Peninsula. We'll see you on the next one. Now that we've jumped two months ahead and it's the first of December, we thought we'd put up our Christmas decorations. What do you think? I love them. <laughs> I also him. love them. <laughs> oh, and also, thanks Mark and Tony. <laughs> do we do that again? The entire stretch of coastline, uh, and the, the entire coast between Gemstone Bay and Katrina. The entire coast between Katrina. The entire coast between Gemstone Bay and the Cathedral Cove is a protected marine life area. Speaking of marine life, check that out. Hey bud. I'm gonna call him Steven. Steven Seagull. <laughs> <laughs>